it looks like the battle between the Nigerian federal government and the indigenous people of Biafra IPOB has moved on to the social media. Because both sides now are hitting on Facebook, Nigerian government making a demand and a warning. And then the IPOB also is up in arms against Nigerian government on Facebook. Welcome to our channel where we bring you global happenings and breaking news. Please kindly subscribe. Remember to click on the notification bell so that our next uploads will come directly to you. Let's give you a lowdown on the battle raging on Facebook between the IPOB and the federal government of Nigeria. So remember that the Minister of Information, Lai Mohammed, had to call all the Facebook team in Nigeria to a meeting few days ago, in which he warned them that they will descend hard on Facebook because they are giving what he called IPOB media warriors access to Facebook to lampoon Nigerian government and cause division. Now, before he could say Jack Robinson, the IPOB came hard on federal government and the man, the canons, the American lawyer called Bruce Fain have written Facebook and he himself is asking Facebook to place a ban on Buhari government for engaging in genocide, crimes against Biafrans and others. Bruce Fein described the President Mohammed Buhari-led government as a criminal enterprise engaging in genocide and crimes against Biafrans and other ethnic or political groups. Bruce Fein, the International Council and spokesperson of Mazen Nandekanu, leader of the indigenous people of Biafra, has asked the popular social media platform Facebook to ban the Nigerian government. He asked Facebook to rebook the government for seeking censorship of IPOB's free speech. You see, Nigerian government brought it on themselves. Immediately they asked Facebook to censor IPOB. The American man rose up in arms and went straight to Facebook. Facebook. Maybe he is living near to Mark Zuckerberg. And he said, this cannot happen. He made the appeal in a letter dated 18th May, addressed, you see, to Mark Zuckerberg, co-founder of the social media website Facebook and this parent company, Meta Platforms. The American media magnate is also the chairman, chief executive officer, controlling shareholder of the company. That's Mark Zuckerberg. I will read you the letter from Bruce Fain so that you can be the judge yourself, not that you had it from me. And here it goes. I represent the indigenous people of Biafra, IPOB, and this is the Amazin Nam the Kanu. For more than a century, Biafrans have been denied their international law right to self-determination, that is, government by the consent of the governed, successively by the United Kingdom and the radical, Fulani-controlled government of Nigeria. IPOB's ongoing campaign for self-determination through a United Nations-conducted referendum is protected free speech and association under international law. I am aware of the Nigerian government's high decibel clamor for Facebook to ban IPOB and its members from the social media platform for allegedly inciting violence. The clamor is predicated on the Nigerian government's prescription of IPOB as a terrorist organization in September 2017, the whole story is more revealing. The prescription flouted due process. IPOB was denied notice and the opportunity to respond. The prescription was the fact-free Ipse Dixit of Nigerian President Muhammad Buhari, despite Nigeria's hectoring. For more than four years, no other country in the world has proscribed IPOB, including the United States and the UK. Indeed, five human rights experts of the United Nations Human Rights Council wrote President Buhari in October 2020, asking for evidence that IPOB was complicit in terrorism. They were ignored. Meanwhile, President Muhammad Buhari threatened the reprise of the 1967 to 1970 genocide of Biafrans in if IPOB did not surrender their right to save determination under Article 1 of the International Covenant on Civil and Political Rights and Otherwise. 
accordingly. I am respectfully requesting that Facebook rebuke the flanny controlled government of Nigeria for seeking censorship of IPOB's free speech. Facebook should also consider banning the government of Nigeria as a criminal enterprise featuring genocide and crimes against humanity, against Biafrans and other ethnic or political groups. The incriminating evidence is voluminous and will be supplied on request. The Nigerian government on Tuesday asked Facebook and other social media platforms to stop allowing IPOB to use their platforms to allegedly incite violence and provoke ethnic hatred in the country. The government said it was unjustifiable for any social media platform to provide a medium for IPOB, which had been proscribed and classified as a terrorist organization. President Buhari banned Twitter operations in Nigeria from June 5, 2021 to January 13, 2022, accusing it of threatening the country's corporate existence. So in football, we say that this is 1-1. One, one. Lai Mohammed fired the first shot. Everybody was quiet. Everything was calm. He just fired the first shot. And this American replied with a boomerang. You see, sometimes it's better to let the sleeping dog lie. I think Nigeria is continuously waging a war they cannot win. If only they realize that we are in the 21st century, they should leave these social media platforms alone and look for another way to resolve these issues. The Nigerian youths are not with them. Nigerian youths are far ahead and they are living in a global community, in a global bubble where everything is now on the social media. No more secrets, no more limitations. Time doesn't play any difference anymore. So how are you going to tell Facebook to stop Biafrans from their platform? Which Biafrans are you talking about? Which IPOB are you talking about? Those you know or those you don't know? I don't know how you want to do it. And most of these IPOB people you are talking, they are the media warriors, they are American citizens, they are German citizens, they are British citizens, they are Spanish citizens. How are you still calling them Nigerians, Nigerians? You are living behind time. You have to find a solution to this problem, not by having a social media ban them. You banned Twitter for almost uh, seven months. And what happened? Nigerian companies were losing money in millions of dollars, not Naira. The economy was affected. The people just ignored you. They took VPN and still went and tweeted. Your ministers that you banned and the senior government officials, they still found a backdoor to go to Twitter. So you achieved nothing. And now you started with, a, you moved to Facebook. And then the IPOB representative has to reply you. There should be a better way to resolve these issues. That's all we can take on this one. We thank you for coming by to watch this video. We please ask you to subscribe to our channel. Click on the notification bell. Our future uploads will come directly to you. Thanks and God bless.